All right, good morning, everyone. This is the 0530 morning stand to on Rod Rodriguez with the After Action Review. All right, so my morning, uh, it started about 4.30. I started uh, catching some messages and uh, um, replying and, and, and definitely reposting a couple of things. Uh, so that started off my morning uh, just, you know, content focused, uh, trying to figure out what it is that I need to be doing today, especially I stayed up yesterday. Yesterday was busy. Yesterday was super busy. Um, basically got back from a nine to five and jumped right into the after action review. Um, so yesterday my big focus was uh, getting the YouTube page up, which is, which it's up now. So the YouTube page is all the videos that I've done. Um, what sucks is that it's got that ridiculous, stupid, long URL. Uh, so with that in mind, uh, if you're not familiar with, uh, the way the, the custom URL works, it's gotta be, your, your cat has to be at least 30 days old. It needs to have at least hundred subscribers. So, uh, what I'd like is to get hundred subscribers before the 30 days. So that way day 30 clicks, we can change that to, uh, youtube.com slash the after action review or the AAR podcast. Uh, try and keep it streamlined, keep it all the same, but that's the, that's the goal. So uh, I will be starting a, a bit of a, of a campaign to, to get 100 people, 100 subscribers out there uh, into the YouTube lands and to get those subscribers uh, uh, subscribed. So content, YouTube subscription, uh, campaign. So yesterday, in addition to the YouTube uh, page stand-up, uh, I had some great conversations with future guests, um, and I'm reaching out and I'm trying to find the delicate balance between, um, Hey, how are you? Be on the show, uh, and trying to explain a little bit about who I am. And, and the thing is, um, here's the thing. I'm not selling anything. So, uh, to be on the after action review podcast, uh, is really a half hour of your time, which I know is valuable. Uh, my time is valuable as much as your time is valuable, but I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm not trying to have you sell anything for me. Um, this is all about the content of providing value to the veteran entrepreneur community. So if I've invited you to be on the show, I highly recommend, I, I really hope you watch this video um, and understand that that this is all about you know, half hour, uh, a half hour of, of promoting your, uh, promoting your business, promoting your uh, endeavor, as well as providing that value and content to uh, our veteran entrepreneur audience. So, uh, but it, it's difficult finding a balance between, you know, I, I don't want to schmooze. Um, I think we're, I think the after action review is, is pretty transparent. Um, if you there, there's there's no hidden anything here. So when I'm I I find somebody that I'm I think that I think is interesting and that I think will provide value to the after action review audience. Um, my goal is to just lay it out there. Like, hey, you're awesome. You're interesting. You would be a great addition to the show. Um, it's just how it is. Uh, so maybe somebody can school me a, a, up a little bit on that, uh, but that's that's how I'm working right now, and I feel like that's the most honest to myself and to the After Action Review brand. Um, so I have uh, I have a couple of guests lined up this week, and I've already mentioned that yesterday. So um, still in the works, still talking to a couple of other people, and I, and I've got a couple of ideas for features. But here's the problem for me is. Uh, I'm leaving soon, going overseas, which kind of puts a, doesn't put a major damper on anything, really, because I'm doing these interviews through Facebook and YouTube anyway. So uh, I'm not really restricted by distance or geographical locations or even time zones, because I will make myself available to my guest. Uh, it's building those personal relationships to get some of those features moving. Um, so I don't want to get too far into it because I, I don't want to get 
I don't want to let the cat out of the bag. I'd like to have a couple of things uh, uh, up my sleeve and, and uh, some pleasant surprises. But I think that in order to to sell, and I guess I am selling that, I am selling the notion that there is an audience uh, that wants certain particular information. Um, and that the veteran community, the after action review community is worth these people's time. Um, that's, that's really important to convey. And sometimes I think that, that the personal touch in those situations is probably the best way to go. Um, but we're going to try it anyway. We will persevere. Uh, so we'll see what, uh, how that goes. And, and I know I'm kind of covering a lot of stuff that I did yesterday, but yesterday was a very busy day. Um, I got a lot knocked out. Um, so, so far, everything's up. Uh, this is great. This is a milestone for, for me and the After Action Review. Uh, we got the YouTube page up. Facebook page is updated. Um, Instagram, Twitter, and... The website, that was a big one for me too. The website is, is now up and updated. It's good. Um, I got to update it with some pictures, but really the, the majority of the, the videos have been transferred over from YouTube. So you can see the videos on YouTube and the After Action Review website. Um, really the website is, it's just a home base. So if you do visit www.theafter uh, sorry www.theaarpodcast.com, um, it's great. It's nice. You're gonna see some cool stuff. But here's the thing: um, it's it's a springboard to where a lot of the the discussions are taking place, where a lot of the conversation takes place, which is actually facebookcom slash the AAR podcast. Um, discussions are taking place on Twitter. Discussion, discussions are taking place on Instagram. So in all of those spheres, um, that's where the conversations are taking place. And I feel like the website, although it's interesting, um, because, I mean, it's, it's going to be a place where you can go catch the podcast and watch all the videos. So basically, whereas YouTube, you're not going to be able to watch, you're not going to be able to listen to a strictly audio podcast. Um, the website will have the podcast, the videos, the the, the pics, the blog. Um, sometimes I do write a blog. Um, so it, it is a one-stop shop for all things after action review. But I under, also understand a lot of people spend their time on Instagram. A lot of people spend their time on YouTube. A lot of people spend their time uh, on Facebook. So if you're one of those, um, I, this is where I live. I, I don't visit anywhere else. That's fine. You're still going to have after action review content, but if you want everything all at once and you just want to peruse and understand what the after action review is as a whole, the website is there and it is, um, it is updated and that's really the big thing. That's the real big time consumer is keeping updated, keeping everything updated. So you add a video to Facebook, you got to take that video and upload it to uh, YouTube. You want to make sure you take a still of that and add it to the Instagram. You want to make sure you talk about what you did, what you uh, filmed uh, on Twitter. Then you want to make sure that you share that uh, you did put up a new video in certain groups and you want to make sure a lot of people know that that video exists. And then you got to put that video into uh, your website. So that one, this video, for example, this this ten minute video is going to take about uh, twenty minutes of just bouncing back and forth uh, over a, a period of time. I, it'll get faster as I get my my methodologies, uh, my process down. And I've talked a lot about methodology. I've talked a lot about the process that you know nothing. You, you can know a thousand different things. Um, but without methodology and without process, it's going to mean shit. So this is going to be, um, I need to get this down before I go overseas. Uh, when you're, when you got a 12 hour time crunch, uh, 
you don't want to waste any minute that you that you don't need to waste. You don't want to spend a moment doing something you, you don't need to be doing or waiting on something because uh, you need this thing to look like this before you can put it into that. You got to go back and fix. I, I don't want to deal with any of that. I'd rather make my mistakes here while I have time, while I have fast internet, while um, we got some momentum going on. And I think that's going to be uh, really key to the success of the after action review when it goes overseas again. Uh, big test bed for me. I'm really nervous about that. Uh, just getting everything ready to plug and play. I, I, that's, that's really the goal here is to create a plug and play environment for myself. And I highly, I highly recommend the same process for you. Look, you may not be going overseas, but um, it's always good to plan for the worst. And one of the things that, that can happen is disaster. When life strikes, right? If you're running a, a business uh, of any sort, it's important to have the processes down pat. You, you need to have everything in a, a set up in a way that you are as efficient as a NASCAR pit team. Because when push comes to shove, when life strikes, you don't want to be dealing with that and then trying to deal with, um, you know, uh, uh, taking stuff from your Facebook and throwing it on your Instagram and Instagram, you're going to fuck up the process and you're going to leave something out or it's not going to look right. Um, and it's going to detract from you being able to address some of these bigger issues that are the reason that all that is happening. So get your processes down. Uh, get your methodologies figured out. Um, that way you are efficient. That way when life does strike, whether it's going overseas, uh, family, money, uh, work, whatever, anything that's going to cause you to be outside of your time comfort zone, you are prepared to deal with it and you're ready to address it. It's not going to be a big issue. It, it, there should be no visible hiccup in your content marketing or your ability to sell whatever product that you're selling efficiently and uh, seamlessly. So uh, today's goal is due to some tightening up at, uh, so uh, I'm not able to post as easily as I did at work than I did before. Uh, so I'm gonna have to find a way to be able to keep up with my content push uh, under conditions where it's going to be very difficult to do so. And I think a lot of other people uh, can understand and empathize with that notion. Um, and that's fine. It's going to be okay in terms of uh, being able to do that. So it just means that those breaks that I take, that time that I, that I have, I have to be efficient. Again, Got to get my processes done. Got to get all that that ready to go, uh, so that as I go through the day, I am producing content, I am republishing content efficiently and in a way that benefits the after action review audience. Uh, my content uh, goal for today is actually six pieces of content. Yesterday I did meet my goal, but it was very difficult. Um, I think that uh, I can make it a little easier on myself, so that way I'm not stressing out so much about it. Uh, my goal is five, but I, I will be happy with five as a minimum. Uh, anything over five is going to be a win for me today. Um, the other piece is today I also want to be able to do the module, do a module for um, Bunker in a Box. Taking my note. Bunker in a Box. I want to do uh, five through seven maybe at some point today. And then today we'll put up a video. Uh, we'll we'll talk about the review of uh, those uh, those modules as we finish up uh, section two. And if you're still inter if you're interested in the uh, bunker in a box, I published uh, we got a video with the review. Um, I'll make sure we put up a link with that and with the new video. So that way, if you want to go back and catch up with what bunker in a box uh, the first inspire would look like. Um, you can hear about that review and then you can jump into the second part of the review. So 
All right, that does it for me. Uh, have a great morning, everyone. I hope everyone is inspired. I hope everyone's really motivated this morning. Uh, it's hard. I get it. It's tough to to get yourself uh, in that right mindset. Like, let's, let's get up and go. Uh, giddy up. But hey, man, it's the, this is the part that sucks is getting up early and beating the clock to go to work so you can you can work on your podcast, you can work on your show, you can work on your business. Uh, this is the magic hour, uh, hour or two before you got to go do your nine to five. And then after five, it's all go time. It's all go time before you go to sleep. So uh, that's it. All right. I will see you later. And uh, guys, have a great day.